Hillsboro High School students are taking on a big project that stemmed from a tiny idea. The school shop students are getting hands-on training in home construction by building their first tiny home. Global's Shelly Steves has more. Caledonia Regional High School students are building up the tiny home movement in New Brunswick, quite literally. The kids were really excited about uh, these tiny houses. There's a lot of buzz around that. I heard a lot of kids talking about it. So they said, hey, how come we can't build one of those? So they went out, found a client, and for the first time ever in the province, students in the Skills Trades program have designed and are now fabricating their first tiny home from the ground up. Well, all we're doing is we're building a floor frame that's going to go in there, right? Robertson, their instructor, is a carpenter by trade. Once we have this and we're going to do the finished floors, we're going to do the cabinets, we're going to do fridge stove, all that stuff. We have a Red Seal electrician coming in to help the, with the electrical wiring, so the kids are going to work with a Red Seal electrician, and we have a Red Seal plumber coming in to work with them, so we get to work with the Red Seal plumber. Exposing these grade 11 students to a variety of trades, he hopes, will encourage more students to take up a trade after they graduate, especially given the shortage of trades workers in the province. And there are a lot of jobs in trades right now in New Brunswick. I like the hands-on work, not having to sit in a classroom and actually getting to learn stuff you're going to use throughout your life. Now the kids' first tiny home is going to a family in Belle Isle. It's 250 square feet of living space and that includes a master and a guest suite, all for about 25,000 bucks. The kids work for free. The cost covers materials. This home will take until sometime next March to complete, but it won't be the last of its kind. Next year we have one that's going to St. John, so it's kind of awesome that these kids are building these and they're going all over the province. So do you think that you could live in one of these or what? <laughs> um, we take a little bit, maybe. <laughs> a little too small? A little too small. <laughs> For me, personally. Shelly Steves, Global News, Hillsboro. It's a movement that's taking over in North America. It's been in Europe for a while, and mm -hmm. they're built on like a trailer, so you can actually take your home and move it wherever you want. Yeah. That's it for tonight. Join